Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garber Experiment. We are back on SnowRunner and we are looking at some new mods. So we are going to have a go into the garage and I'll show you guys this new mod. It's a bit of a bigger truck now. It's different from some of the others we've looked at because it's not a small little scout. So it is this one that M181. Now... In the description, they called it Carnictus or Carnictus. Yeah, I think that was what it was in description. Based off of, well, the in the description it said something about how King Kong, the worms in the King Kong, I think that's the Carnictus from, are just slow and they don't stop, basically. They just keep on going. Now, what has happened now? It is frozen. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it does struggle a little bit with loading your mods all the time. So it is based off of the Colob, but it is a modded version of that. So we've got a IMZ8 520, 530 or 600. Okay. Let's go with that. that although, yeah, it gives it better... A overhaul twin turbo version of the 530T forged internals allow this engine to make massive power with only a minor fuel efficiency penalty. So let's chuck that in because I really want to just see if this truck is just uh, like unstoppable basically. An improved gearbox variant offers fuel range of gears, cost of higher fuel consumption, custom heavy duty truck performance transmission. So let's chuck that in. So we got active or we got raised. Um, let's go for active. We don't go for active very often. We normally just go for the raised. How have we got a massive array of uh, tires? I don't think we have actually. Oh, it won't let me have those because I've got to install the appropriate suspension. Oh, that's no fun. Um. No, let's go for 60s then, actually, shall we? So we've got these on at the moment. So let's stick... Oh, let's go for those ones. Poor on-road, but excellent off-road and mud. Autonomous winch HD, battery powered heavy-duty winch, yep. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping not to roll this. So we've got tall front facing, short round cap, wedge cap, round cap with air filter and a wedge cap. That's off the twin steer, that one. So we're going to go for the tall front facing. That looks relatively right for it. Okay, then. So we can have a heavy crane, which looks different from the base one i don't think i've ever seen this one unless it is already on the colob i just haven't used the colob before so we've got a normal flatbed and an extended flatbed van body maintenance frame add-on another maintenance frame add-on metal detector which goes up there which is weird seismic vibrator small sideboard normal size sideboard fuel tank which looks a bit weird because that whole back bit goes inside it. Okay, weird. Another small fuel tank, small crane, saddle high and saddle low. So, um... I don't really know which one looks right. The crane, really. That looks like the best. Kind of looks like it's made for it. Yeah, that looks like the, the right thing to do. So, what can we put then? Angled sun visor, chrome cap, chrome cap with beacons. What can we get on the rooftop? Okay, that takes away the crane, so we can't put anything on the rooftop. Let's put chrome cap with beacons. Uh, front bumper. Lattice fog light. Lattice again. Crossbar with fog lights, fog lights. Reinforced bar and lattice again. So I'm kind of liking that one. Quite minimalistic, really, on the front there. Uh, double beacons, factory beacons, 
Small parking lights. Oh, why does it keep doing this? Okay, and can't have the roof ones, so we're gonna have the factory ones. Default exhaust is a small one. So we got muzzled, outrolled. Oh, it gives you two either side. Let's see that. Default ones. Heat shields, big muzzled, big outrolled, and stock. I'm gonna go with the bigger outrolled on the further outside. And we've got three different rims. Kind of like it, those ones. Look beefy. Can we get a similar colour to the crane? We can. Almost. It's a bit... No. Can't quite. It's not really any of those yellows. What else can we get? We can get the orangey camo. Some funny old colours here, but still cool. Gives you a lot of colours to choose from. A lot of camo-y colours. You know, I'm going for that one, I think, maybe. Unless I can find another one. Um, See, in the picture, it had one of these ones on. Which kind of max, matches the maintenance frame. Let's go for... I think it was that one. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Alright, let's see what sort of cranes we can have on it. Yeah, so it said, again, in the description, like, this truck's not gonna be very quick or anything like that because it's not made for that. It's just made for, like, just being sort of unstoppable, really. It just keeps powering through. So what trailers can we have? Obviously, the normal trailers, because we could get a hitch... And then the normal ones behind. And then the... Why does it keep doing that? Yeah, ramped flatbed. Maintenance trailers. Gooseneck. All the other ones. Let's go for ramped. Well. Oh, in, in not enough space. Okay, that's my fault. Um, back up a bit. Try not turning so much to the back end there. It's getting really far in. There we go. Ramp flatbed. There we go. Right, let's... Do I put cargo on it? I kind of want to put this wing on it. I've tried the wing a few times now, but I don't seem to find anything that can put the wing on. Yeah. Trailer does not support this cargo. Why is that? How strange. Um, let's bring the ramp down. Let's grab a few vehicles. Or, do you reckon I could lift that vehicle up over there? You know what, let's give it a go. Obviously you can change the suspension mode. It's pretty cool, but we're driving on the road, so we'll keep it low at the moment. Let's see if this heavy crane could lift this vehicle up onto the trailer, and then we could take it out. Will it be able to do it? Sort of as close as we can get. How far are these anchors going to go out? Not huge distance. Make sure we lift it up. But let's see. Can we? Can we lift this up? Can we move it about a bit? I don't think it's going to lift it up, to be honest. Bit of a shame. Yeah, that's literally all the way down now. I 
And that looks like that's going to do some damage to that. There we go. Sort of lifted it up. Can I get it up on the trailer though? Is that going to work? Well, sort of. Can we do it? Is it going to work? Let's drop it down a little bit. Try to drag it up onto the trailer. Yeah, this is meant to be a heavy crane. Why can it not lift? I know it's a big truck, but still. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Maybe I'll have to see if we can get those uh, modded cranes, because I think they are a lot stronger than that. Come on, so close. You can do it. Just lift it up that little bit more. Just try my best to lift it up and it's just not moving. Well, okay, well that's the end of that then. That's a bit of a shame. So stall the crane then. Um, let's drop the ramps down. And we'll go and well like can I switch to that truck actually I can there we go All right this um we'll bring it out seems that was obviously a heavy truck now it's fully repaired I put it up on the trailer and see how this thing does with towing a heavy weight Let's see if it, it should fit up on the trailer I would have thought if I can get it in the right position get it lined up is that on that is on pretty central there let's change back to this truck Pack the truck, activate the ramp. We are good to go. Let's see how this does this then. We'll keep the suspension down low. Yeah, a bit of shame about the crane, but never mind. Doing alright so far at the moment. I mean, we are on main road, obviously. Couldn't lift the truck, but it's towing the truck fine. Let's head through this water. Once we destroy the front end of our truck, as usual. There we go, that's a bit better way to do it. Just tap them over. Doing alright, through the water. I was about to say, not really getting pushed, but it actually is being pushed over. Chuck all wheel drive on. Not that it really needs it, but. Well, let's go do some trials with it and see what it's like. See what it's like through the mud and things. Wonder would it have been better with a normal hitch on the back as opposed to a crane, but. We've got it now. I think it's basically the same inside and everything. I haven't again, I haven't used the colob myself in career mode or anything. Because I think it's one that you get on one of the Russian maps. Is it like through this mud? It can handle fifth gear or is it gonna have to drop down? Nope, it's gonna have to drop down. Can it get through it though? Yeah, it's fine. Put in the trailer as well. A good thing about this trailer is that it's not too long that it should get high centered. And because it's got that front axle, it should prevent that from happening. So let's go through the other lot of water and see if we can get through all of the deep stuff. Let's change the suspension mode. 
See if that helps in any way. Obviously makes it higher, harder for the water to get to the snorkel. Better ground clearance. Shouldn't get stuck on there. any boulders on the body then. But what's it like through here? First one, obviously okay. Starting to struggle a little bit there. But once you drop down the gears, it's fine. Now this is the deep puddle at the end. How's it going to do this with the trader on? Yeah, this is very deep, this one. That's deeper than the river. Oh, that's low gear. We're still moving. Which is good. Trailer's just getting in now. We'll turn and see if we can get out. I don't know if I dare try to go through that mud. Because that mud just seems to be a truck killer, really. We're out the other side. All okay. Do we go for the mud? Let's try it. You know what? Give it a go. Yep, instant regret. And now we're stuck. Can we get back out? Can we pull ourselves out? No, I want the tree over there. There we go. Not really on the trailer, but never mind. There we go. Right, it should be enough, hopefully, with the front wheels to pull ourselves out. Sort of. Or not. Turning circle's not great. I might have to get this truck off and give us a hand. If they want to work. Oh, no. I don't want to get stuck in there, though. Come on. I mean, this has no up upgrades on it whatsoever, so... I'm just going to purely be... Stay on this bit with the barrels, because that is hard ground there. Let's stick here. I'm going to have to change truck again, because I've got to bring the ramps up. And that's the wrong winching point. What? No, don't do it, truck. Why are you turning this way? <laughs> Why does it do that? Turning the straight straight away the wrong way. Deeper into the mud. Come on, you can do it. Let's get out. I've yet to find a vehicle that can get through that okay. Without needing assistance. I think we will do one day. And that will be an ultimate truck, really. Alright, let's leave that one there. Let's change back. Head over to the jump. And see how it does. Ah, uh, drop the trailer. There we go. Let's go. I don't think it's going to win any competitions with the jump, to be honest. But I want to see how it does when it lands. See how much damage we do to it. Hopefully not a lot. Again, it is a very big and heavy truck. Hoping we don't do a lot of damage to it. Let's go have a look. But yeah, I, I don't really know what sort of truck is ever going to be able to make it through that. Without any assistance whatsoever. 
Maybe one of the IX Wrecker, maybe with one of the monster mud tires on, I don't know, because they've got, like, they're really wide, or if we had the triples on or something, maybe that would work. But, maybe we'll give it a go somewhere and see if we can actually make it through that swamp. So yeah, not gonna, not gonna jump a huge distance with this, but I just want to see how much damage it does in comparison to the other vehicles that we've tested down this jump. Because we are sixth gear already. Come on, you can do it. Horrible weather right now. Don't know what is going on with the weather. That is top gear. Get a little bit of speed from the downhill. And here we go. Here's the jump. Can we make it to second to last? No. No damage whatsoever. That is brilliant. That, guys, was the modded Colob. Also known as... Carnictis? Carnictis or something. The big weird worm from King Kong, if you've seen it, guys. That Basically, that's what it says in the description. It's inspired by that, I'm pretty sure. But if you did enjoy this episode, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload the next episode. Thanks, guys, for watching.